sure Shiv will do our last round. That's rapid fire, quite sure. quite popular in Let's Talk Disney sure. series. So here I'll ask you a few questions where you don't have to think too much, and okay. whatever first thought comes, sure. we would love to know more bit about you. Sure. And I'm sure our viewers would also yeah. love to know a bit about what ticks Shiv. Okay, yeah? sure. So first, I want to know what's your go-to comfort food. Go-to comfort food. Uh, Oh, this is my favorite uh, mm. Swati snacks, uh, Panki, the Panki at Swati. Nice. Yeah. So if you could have any superpower, what would it be? To fly. Okay. Yeah. Favorite uh, travel destination that inspires you? So this is, I, I mean, I've been to a lot of places, mm. but I love Goa. I just love Goa uh, mm. because one, it's so close to home. Yeah. And, you know, I, there are a lot of beach towns in the world that I've been to, mm. Thailand, etc. to Brazil, but Goa has this way of not losing its nature charm. What's the last book you read and did it leave an impact on you? Yeah, so the last book I read was, uh, I forget the name, but mm. anyone can look it up. It's uh, the Netflix book. Yeah. Uh, no Rules Rules, that's the name. Mm. And the way they've designed their organization culture, the kind of transparency they have, I recommend any startup founder and to be frank, anyone to read it. It's uh, very unique and uh, this impact a lot about it and thinking about how to implement that in our organization as well. Interesting. So how do you handle stress or tough days? So I think after a tough day, I really try and meditate. Mm. Uh, because what happens is that your mind just starts racing and a yeah. lot of thoughts happen. Uh, so I think meditation is a practice and I use this app uh, called Waking Up. Uh, so it's a guided meditation. Mm. You can choose either 10 or 20 minutes. Uh, and depending on how much time you have, I try and do that. Nice. And any quirky habits or routines you follow? I've picked up this new sport uh, called paddle. Uh, so that's really picking up. Not quirky, but it's a fun new activity I've picked up. One hobby you secretly enjoy outside of work? I enjoy playing golf. Nice. Yeah. How would you convince someone who is skeptical about fractional ownership to give it a try? I'll just educate them. You know, you have to just keep reading and understanding. And uh, once you do that, you will just see why it's a very solid and safe investment. So create awareness. Yes. One real estate trend you like to see more of in the future? So not relating it to my business, yeah. uh, because that obviously is there. But I think the smart buildings, which I was talking about, I'm yeah. very fascinated by all the various things that are, that are possible. Mm. Uh, you know, smart buildings, smart apartments, smart houses, yeah. uh, basically the IoT uh, part of uh, uh, real estate the most unusual thing someone has ever wanted to own a fraction of I, I wouldn't say unusual but I think there are a lot of people a lot of companies that are you know you can own fraction of art yeah. uh, you can own fraction in you know when the whole NFT craze happened mm. uh, you can own a fraction or you can tokenize and own a fraction of a, a, a video clip mm. uh, so those are always unique and fun uh, things to see that Okay, is there art obviously has an intrinsic value, yeah. but in these, you know, that, that bubble that happened, yeah. was there actually an intrinsic value in owning a, a fraction or a token of the, or the NFT of that uh, video clip for instance? So I want to know best advice that you have ever received and the worst advice. Yeah, so, so my father used to say this to me uh, when I was much younger, uh, you know, every time before going to exams, uh, and to be honest, I did pretty well in school. Mm. So I think that advice helped me. So he always said, just be cool, calm and collected. That's a good yeah. advice. Yeah. yeah. And the worst advice? Worst advice? I don't know. I, that's a... Uh, it's not necessary. You must have taken it. But when you look back at it, you might chuckle. That this kind of advice also you receive. So not the worst advice, but I, I, and I, I see a lot of people just say that, oh, go with your heart. But sometimes you have to use your head and be sensible also. True. A motto or philosophy you live by. Uh, so this is, yeah. So in fact, I'll give you the story behind this. Mm. So at um, at uh, HBS, I graduated from HBS. Mm. So on your last day of class, uh, you know, they ask you to write a letter to yourself that you'll open in your five-year reunion. So I just had my five-year reunion in May. Mm. Um, and, you know, most people had written long letters. Oh, I hope you're doing, I hope that you reach this stage, etc. Yeah. I just had seven words or eight words written. Mm. Um, and it was like, no regrets, don't overthink it, it's just life. Nice. Yeah. So any particular entrepreneur you admire and why? I admire a lot of entrepreneurs. If you are to uh, name one. 
but i think uh, in my elon musk a lot mm. uh, it's very smart and this great work ethic okay and one misconception about fraction ownership you like to debunk one misconception is in a way people think it's a new age concept mm. but people have jointly been owning property for the longest time it's yeah. just tech technology that, that's enabling it in a more easier way luxury penthouse in a bustling city or a cozy cabin in the woods no i love cities so luxury penthouse i like the action yeah the ultimate dream fractional ownership of an iconic uh, iconic landmark or an off the grid sanctuary i think sanctuary yeah yes, yeah where people can you know say that their co-owners go there be with nature true as long as it's protected of course yes, yeah yeah if you could time travel where and uh, when would you go so i can go future or back yeah 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 uh I'll go twenty years uh, into the future and just mm. see what the world has become. Nice. And one word to describe your leadership style? Always curious. Mm. You know. And advice you would love to give or would like to give to the aspiring entrepreneurs who are planning to get into real estate market? What it would be? So, advice to give entrepreneurs in general mm. um, is that there are highs and lows. but you just have to keep moving forward just one step ahead of the next